When I talk about the Arctic, what do you visualize? Glaciers, polar bears, or snowfall, right? But what if I tell you that some parts of the Arctic didn't look polar anymore and that the Arctic is getting wetter? For a long time, scientists could not identify any trends in the amount of snow, rain, and freezing rain across the region. But that has changed now. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, many regions are likely transforming from snowfall to rainfall dominant climates. The University of Alaska Fairbanks led investigation found statistically significant increases in precipitation of 10 to 15 percent since the year 1950. So that means it's getting wetter everywhere and in all seasons. Now, according to one of the researchers, in the next few decades, rain will become the main form of precipitation over most of the Arctic fringes. A 2021 study in the journal Nature Communications found that rainfall could take over in parts of the Arctic as early as the year 2060. Now, that's because temperatures are rising and precipitation is increasing across the Arctic due to the greenhouse gases emitted by humans' use of fossil fuels. And if we look at the science behind it, warmer temperatures mean more moisture is evaporating from the ocean, which will eventually precipitate out and show up as snow or rain. But the higher temperatures are also melting the sea ice cover, exposing more of the ocean to evaporation, leading to further precipitation. Now, moreover, the uh, NOA in its annual Arctic report card has reported that the polar region continues to warm twice as fast as the rest of the planet, and that's causing Arctic sea ice to diminish, the tundra to turn green with vegetation, and seabirds to starve to death in droves. It's not just that. A rainy Arctic loses its snow cover more quickly, speeding up climate change there and exposing more permafrost. Where vast areas of frozen ground are slowly thawing and releasing large amounts of the dangerous greenhouse gas methane. And as our protective white layer is melting more rapidly than we can imagine, it has also given a rise to different concerns altogether. It is the release of dangerous ancient microbes buried deep under the permafrost frozen zone. Moreover, the freezing rain is becoming a bigger issue. Alaska's second largest city, Fairbanks, recently experienced a 35 millimeter downfall. The problem is that the ice layer that's left behind it makes roads more hazardous and creates difficulties for foraging wildlife until the spring thaw comes. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.